What's good? It's your boy, Mr. Mixer. I'm sure you want to know how to do a dope, dope show mix. Well, let's get into it. We're going to show you the ins and outs of what to do and what not to do. Let's get to it. Yeah. Already, what's good? Let's get into it. I'm sure you're ready to learn how to make a dope show mix. It's fairly easy. I just want to show y'all my method in Adobe Audition 2020. It's very simple. Uh, we're going to start with, this is if you're a beginner um, and you don't know how to create a session. I'm just kind of going slow. So you want to go to browse. You want to put it wherever it's going to be for the artist, whatever you're saving, wherever. Always save in a hard drive, external. Um, the artist is Nisi. Uh, she has a show coming up on the 24th. So yeah, here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. So yeah. All right, so yeah, you want to just save up. Let's show mix for this one. <clears throat> and actually, let's put this in a 2020. I forgot. Yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, you want to save that. You want to do, let's see, uh, let's do none. Um, I'm going to show you from scratch. Uh, because you don't need much for a show mix. So you don't want to like pull all the mono tracks in. You just want to have a few tracks. So you want to have your sample rate, leave that at 44, 100, bit depth 24. Um, depends on, I'm sure your interface is 24 bit. Uh, 32 is kind of high. You don't need 32. Anyway, that's a whole nother topic and a whole nother debate and opinions and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I believe 24 is good. Let's do it. All right, so show mix time. All right, so you want to find, first you want to know how long is your set? You got to contact whoever is over the show. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't already got this information, you should get it. Um, typically, it's between like 10 minutes, seven to 10 minutes for a set, or you could just do a song. But what you're going to do with the show mix is going to add life to when you perform it so it's not just like the music playing it's gonna be all in one track one song like it's gonna be a long song so if it's 10 minutes the whole track will be 10 minutes so that will um help you just so like the dj the dj might not know what's going on with your music like you can talk to the dj or if you have your own dj that's a different story you know what I'm saying? But nowadays, a, a artist coming up, they not going to have their own DJ. They not going, you know what I'm saying? So you want to have a show mix. And not only that, it's really just easier to deal with. So let's get into it. Um, that's just my ASIO. Uh, it popped up somehow. <laughs> All right. So uh, what we're going to do is find our song. We're going to go to our folder. All right, so uh, with this uh, show mix, I have to pick the songs. So I've actually produced every song for her. So I'm picking the best vibe and the best order for her. And then uh, we're gonna go with it. It should be about three songs. The set is 10 minutes. So we're gonna stick around that. We gotta do some chopping. We gotta do some things to make it sound good, make it real flavorful. Flavorful. <laughs> Is flavorful a word? I don't even know how to say it. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Alright, so she's an R&B singer, of course. Well, I ain't gonna say of course, because there's some rapper, female rappers. A lot of female rappers. Anyway. You, you are now rocking with Mr. Mix. Life would be like without you I don't wanna live this crazy life if I ain't got you Okay, so yeah One thing I forgot to say You have to have instrumentals So I'm gonna go with this track, Loving You um, And we're gonna do this right on camera I, I'm gonna locate where I did it <clears throat> I try to do, go by dates So I can always like go back You know what I'm saying? So it's saying August 30th, let's see uh, 2019 let's see if it's right uh so it in and, and typically it's like 
around that. It don't really be there. So if it said the 30th, that's probably when I finished the final mix down. So it's probably here. This is probably it. So what I'm saying is <clears throat> you always want to go into your session. If you don't have your session, you need to get your engineer to make you a show mix. You don't want to rap or sing with your vocals live. Like that's just not a good look. It's not a good look at all. We don't want to do that. We're not doing it. We're going to be better in 2020. Uh, so, yeah, you want to get your file. So let's see what's up. Let me uh, let it load for a minute. Big session. Big session. It's not going to take too long. Got a fast computer. Okay. And also, when you're doing your cutouts for your show, for your uh, song, like for performing, taking the leads out. You want to leave the hooks in. You can leave the hooks in. That'll give <clears throat> that'll give you your breath. That'll um, help you uh, through the song live because performing live is something else. You think you can do it live, but you gotta really practice. You gotta really rehearse and uh, know where to breathe and things because that's very important in this game. All right, so we're all loaded up. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> I'm not gonna waste any time. Let me see. Uh, I got the leads up here. So we're gonna take this out. To lead a background. Echoes. Killing me softly. See, we'll leave that because that'll help her. So yeah, so go to the next verse. As y'all see, it's the same kind of setup. I'm not going to play it all the way through. Let's take that one out. Okay, so yeah. She got a pretty clean voice. Um, she's really nice, a nice singer. Like, I'm privileged to work with her. So, uh, let's keep working though. Uh, let's look at the end. Okay, so we want to take all that extra because she's going to do that live. It's me, okay, so we can leave that. See the hooks down here. If love, if love, if love you as well, I don't even want to be right. Yes, sir. Dying. Love Jones, love Jones. So those are the backgrounds, as you see, I got those out. So, uh, so that's the part she'll be doing live. So yeah, I think we're ready. Um, we'll go ahead and save this one. It's called Loving You. So let's move quickly. All right, so yeah, let me find, once I get this set up, uh, because I've been meaning to do this anyway, so this is the first step if you haven't done this already. So uh, let's get to it. Um, we're gonna call this, we're gonna make a new folder. Let's call it um, Show Mixes. Let's keep it simple. Okay, we'll say loving you. Uh, performance version. I try to stay organized with my writing because I used to mess up so much. Uh, I really be double checking it now. Uh, I'm sure y'all would do the same. Uh, so yeah, let's let that bounce. Also, as this renders down, check out Mr. Mix of the Producer .com. Go check out some merch. Go check out uh, some beats. Uh, go ch listen to some music. Go find out some dope artists in that in my on my website. Uh, follow me on IG. Um, follow me on Twitch at Mixer, Mister Mixer the Producer. Uh, I'm trying to build my Twitch up. Uh, it's new to me, but hey, I'm rocking with everything that's coming out new. I'm trying to stay hip. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have said hip but whatever hop you know what i'm saying hip-hop but whatever uh yeah so mr mixer 
Uh, yeah. Alrighty, let's get back to our uh, show mix. All right, so once you get all of your performance versions, again, I say performance versions. That is a big must. Okay, so uh, let's do only one. Well, we got loving you, only one. And I said my love is going to be a feature. Uh, a lot of these are, you know, uh, collabs with Tiff, Tiffany, uh, one of my artists, um, dope artists. You can look her up on Spotify, iTunes, anything. You feel me? Okay, so what I'm looking at is wrong. So let me change my time display. So what I did is right click on time display right there, the left click. You know what I'm saying? All right, I need to be on decibels. All right, you want to make sure you are, oh, look, I could really just, this is short enough to do, because I don't got to be at 10 minutes, you feel me? Like, that little minute right there, that's enough, like, so, we're going to see, because I might chop something up, um, what we're going to do is go, you want to download some effects, you want to download, like, um, like, over the years, I've downloaded so many things i just keep them in a certain folder so when i can just go search for them so like um creative things you can do with show mixes are the turntable effect um explosions uh horns uh dj horns um and you can look this stuff up like do a little download on youtube or however you get your you know stuff however you do it you feel me but you want to have things like that to um i'm sure if you even go in like adobe audition i know they have a sound pack you, you feel me like it's free so uh and that'll help you build things uh you be creative with it so let's get to it so i want to find first explosion i like to get all of my elements into my session first okay so i get this big explosion i use this one quite a bit Okay, you see it's a stereo file. You want to make sure whatever file it is, you, you want it to be the match of it. You don't want it to, like, if it's a mono file, make a mono file uh, so that it feels right like it's supposed to. Or you can convert it to whatever you want to convert it to. But that's my opinion on how you should set it up in your DAW. So, yeah. All right, so explosion. Um, let's go with some DJ turn. Let's see. Let's just put in DJ. There we go. Okay. All right. So I've used, uh, if I can find it again. I went down too far in this one. Okay. So I'm going to try. Goodness. Where'd you go? Okay. DJ Vinyl. That's not it, but that is a pack that I use. Okay, so there it goes right there. That's all I need, but okay. All right, so just a vinyl effect. I can do something with that. Um, let's type in DJ when I saw something else. Uh, I gotta get this air going. So that's doing that. Okay, so DJ air horn, be more specific. Come on, just sing. Oh, no, hold up. Where you at? There you go. Okay. All right, so this is a sound effect I got years ago, you know. Okay, so three effects will probably be enough. All right, so what we want to do is uh, let's go from the top. Like I said, the time is 10 minutes. So let's make a marker there so we can't go past that. Okay. Uh, to, to make a marker, uh, hit F8. In Windows I'm not sure what it is in Mac because I don't use Mac but if you use Windows it's F8 so whatever the equivalent is of that on Mac is the, is the uh, marker button so yeah you, you are 
Okay, so off top, I'm gonna let that drop in just like that. If love, if love you, if love you as well, I don't even wanna be right. Okay, so we're gonna go to the end. Okay, wherever that is, I did another F8 with that marker. All right, so that's where I'm gonna come in with a clean cut. I'm gonna turn my toggle on, uh, toggle snapping. That just kind of like marks it where it locks in. Okay, all right, so what I'm gonna do here is, let's first, cause sometimes you wanna, in the beginning, you wanna amp them up a little bit. So I'm gonna add a horn up here. Nah, that was not the right vibe for, for the song coming in. Okay, so we can put this down here. Okay, so the air horn to show everybody, hey, wake up. <laughs> okay, so the end of that, what we're going to do is we're going to convert to unique copy. We right click, convert to unique copy. All right, then we're going to go here, click on it. All right, time and pitch, pitch bender. All right, turntable losing power. See, it's the same, it's the preset, it's default. We got to do much, feel me? All right, so actually, let's leave that there because a little bit of that bend ain't going to make it in the mix. Feel me on that, okay? All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a flanger on that. Let's make it not so hard. We're going to have some cool, cool stuff going on with you. You feel me? All right, we're going to throw a reverb on that too. Just, this is a clip effects. It's not on track effects. It's just on this one effect, okay? All right, so we want a lot of decay, but we don't want too much. Let's turn it up. I want more decay. Loud car. Really loud car. Anyway, as I keep going. Yes, sir. I like that. Okay, so. So as she does her ending. See, we're going to cut it here. Yeah, we don't need this. We're going to cut all of that. And we're going to make another drop just like we did. And this one going to come out better too because uh, it's a better spot with this. It's more going on and it's not a fade out. And that's not why I did that. I did that because you don't need that extra space. Um drawing down the crowd you know what i'm saying like you want to do the stuff that's amp you feel me so once you get done with that song be done with that song you feel me so uh i like what i did with the effects so let's try this Okay, I almost feel like mm, no. Nah, let's let's keep it simple because I don't want to throw her vibe off. So okay, yeah. So that's gonna be one of these ones where you play with your fade. So you can always play with your fade. You're the only one for me. For me. He's the only one for me. The only one I need is him. He's the only one. Yeah, you're the only one for me. Oh, 
Pussy Gang. Gang. Okay, I'm gonna take that middle one out. I like that. Thought it was a game. Okay, I want to show y'all something. All right, so um, I just took that middle one out, so it created two clips. All right, so two of these, I want one. I just want it to be one clip. So what you want to do is right click. You want to first uh, click Control. Hold control, click again. It's gonna make both of them like highlight and <clears throat> right click. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, go to merge clips. And then you got one clip. Then you can go in and you can add some something on it. You feel me? Something different. I'm gonna add another flanger. I like the flanger feel uh, with a, a same kind of reverb effect, uh, just to bring some ambience to it. Game. Okay, let's take some of that out. Thought it was a game. You, 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 you are now rocking with Mr. Mixer. And that'll definitely liven it up, having a tag come in with it. That's my uh, thought it was a game tag. Okay, so. Let's come back. Okay, so since it's two people on that, I already know they about to show out together live. So it's about to be crazy. So what we're going to do is let this one fade out and we're going to throw the boom in there. It's me, I want them to know the tag, so let that in there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that's how you do that. <clears throat> you feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do my markers, but you got to feel what's going on. So, that would be the end of that. So, right there, I can cut that song. All right, so what are we at? We are at eight minutes. Uh, eight minutes. Uh, she still does have two minutes. We're not going to play with that two minutes. That's not enough time to showcase anything. I could shorten something up, but I feel like that's a good vibe right there. So let's see how our explosion sounds at the end. Okay. So I like that, but we're going to, of course, hit a little EQ on it. Got to have a little EQ default. Okay. So we're going to take a little low end out of that. Just kind of, it's there. You don't want it like crazy. You know, we're going to add a little reverb to that too. Um, let's see. Uh, definitely going to take a lot out of this. But... See, that was just enough. I like that. Don't be scared to just like be okay with stuff. And I want that big boom at the end because they will still be singing. All right, so this mix came out to eight minutes. Uh, we're going to save up, save our session. Just in case I need to come back and change something, you always want to save it. All right, so eight minutes and uh, 22 seconds. Eight minutes and 22 seconds is our variation of time for this show mix. So. We gonna render this down. Uh, we are gonna go to file, export, multi-track, mix down entire session. Okay, so now we saving all of this in one file. So um, I actually kind of named this wrong. So what I'm gonna do is come back and name this show performance. I'm gonna say performance versions. Okay. Let me make sure I spell all oh, that. Yep. Okay, so after that, I want to make this one and it says show mixes because 
that's the difference between what I'm about to do. All right, so I'm gonna call this one September 24th Show Me See Show Mix. Okay, even a good thing to let the know, let the uh, people know how long it is. So uh, it's I could put like eight minutes, just so they know it's eight minutes. You know what I'm saying? So you might be helping out the DJ, you might be helping out whoever, but it's always good to be organized and let people know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because they need to know. Because you don't want your set to be messed up. You know what I'm saying? You performing live, and if your stuff go off and they don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like the more information you give them, like it's gonna be better. So make sure you do that. All right. So after that, uh, I took this off. Include markers. I don't want my markers to be in it. Which you could, that would actually help the DJ. I'm gonna actually leave that on. That might help them see where everything is because you can see it in the file. All right, so let's okay that. All right, so once that renders down, because it's not gonna take long, you wanna go to your folder and you wanna go check out what you did, okay? All right, so we are in show mixes, it's done. I'm gonna actually close this out as my messenger goes off in the middle of my video I did not yeah anyway uh, so all right that looks pretty clean um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna bring levels up we don't need to master nothing we already mastered it everything was at zero so what we're gonna do is just get our level up and we're gonna go to our highest peak and that should be fine every song is where it's set and that's it but you want it loud enough where the dj ain't gotta like crank it up too loud but then you know you in the live mic so yeah okay so that looks good you want to hit file save again all right so we are done with our show mix so if after that you just kind of skim through it uh you, you are now right you know It sounds clean. She'll be singing on top of that. Put you right by my side. Nice and not too much, you feel me? But it put something there, you feel me? So you can go to the next song. Oh, you want for me. Thought it was a game. Yeah, see, and that just kind of put a little vinyl effect to where you know you can feel that so yeah it's me, it's me, it's me. everything looks good all the ways are formed great mixing is good all right so this is how you make a show mix mr mixer told you you gonna do it, you gonna be great, you know what I'm saying? So do that, you know what I'm saying? I think you'll be good at it. Um, I think you can make some dope show mixes in Adobe Audition. Whatever Adobe Audition you're using or whatever DAW you are using, it doesn't matter if you're using Pro Tools, Cubase, uh, all the ones out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, Studio One, all of them. Long as you know what you're doing in your head, is going to come out you feel me and you need performance tracks so make sure you take the time to render out performance tracks that's very important as an artist i believe let's fight about it in the comments make sure you hit that like and subscribe button yeah your boy mr mixer is out be great